A lot of people have no idea how much they can expect from Canada Pension Plan or Old Age Security when they retire. And the fact is, it's actually quite a bit, or at least it can be quite a bit. It depends on quite a few factors. But what I want to do is keep it pretty high level today. And I just want to show you the amounts that you could get best case scenario at age 65. And then also show you best case scenario if you wait until age 70. And then finally, I also want to show you how you can estimate the numbers that you're going to get. All right, let's do it. $1,994 per month. That is the number as of early 2023 that you could expect to get every single month if you are now age 65 and eligible to get the maximum amount. And it's guaranteed for your life. And if your spouse is also age 65 and eligible to get the maximum amount as well, then you can pretty much just go ahead and double that number. That's nearly $4,000 a month coming in. And get this, both of these benefits are guaranteed to increase as the cost of living or inflation continues to increase. So these benefits, both of them, will just continue to get bigger and bigger for the rest of your life. It's actually pretty good. That's a lot of guarantees just built right in. And for those of you who are a little more analytical and wanna see the numbers, here is a breakdown. If you're 65 now, the max amount you can get from CPP is 1,306.57 $1 a month. And the max amount you would get for old age security is $687.56 a month. Add the two together and that's how we get the total of 1,994 a month. I know, I know, not everybody gets the max amount, I get it, but lots of people do. And I also get that a lot of people scoff at the idea of waiting until 70 in order to take their CPP or their old age security, but you gotta hear me out because the government really does give some pretty large increases. So at minimum, it's at least worth knowing what the numbers are, and here they are. For those who are eligible for full pop, and choose to wait until 70 before starting these benefits, that monthly number jumps from 1,994 per month to a combined 2,790 per month. Significant. And that's because you get an increase of 42% for your CPP and an increase of 36% for your old age security if you choose to hold off for the full five years. And again, if you have a spouse in the same boat, then go ahead and double that combined number from $2,790 to $5,580 every single month. Guaranteed, inflation protected, income. Even if your retirement budget is a beefy $10,000, you're already over halfway there without even touching a nickel of your own money. And yes, there are legitimate reasons why you would not necessarily want to do this. And in some cases, there are reasons why you should not do this. But we're not going to get into all of that today because I wanted to keep this video short, sweet, and focused because I run into a lot of people. I mean, I can't even tell you how many times I sit down with people for the first time and we go over their old age security and their CPP benefits and they have literally have no idea how much that they were going to be getting. And it's because they just don't really have any kind of a grid for it. Nobody really talks about this kind of stuff in everyday life. So that's what we're doing. We're talking about it. And now you know, now you know these numbers. It can be a substantial amount every month. But will you get that amount? Obviously, that's the question that all of you actually care about. And the reality is I have absolutely no idea how much you can expect because I have no idea who you are. I'm just looking at a camera. But I can tell you this. Your CPP benefits are based on the amount that you and your employer have been contributing to the plan over the years. So if you've been working in Canada for a really long time and you've been making a pretty good income, then you stand a pretty good chance of getting the full benefit. If you haven't, well, then you can expect less. But you don't have to guess or try to bust your brain going through calculations to figure this out. You can just contact Service Canada and they'll give you an estimate of your amounts. That said, I will make this disclaimer. If you're logging in for your first time, it would be very wise to dramatically lower your expectations of all speed, efficiency, and user friendliness. But once you do pass that hurdle and you get in, just look for your statement of contributions and that will give you a pretty good estimate of what you can expect for your CPP benefits. As for OAS, that's just based on how long you've lived in Canada. It has nothing to do with what you put into a plan. So you are eligible to get the full amount if you've lived here for 40 years uh, after the age of 18 until the age of 65. 
And if you've lived here for less than that, well, then you can expect less. And you can estimate how much less by simply adding up all the years you've been in Canada and then dividing it by 40. So for example, if you've lived in Canada for 20 years after the age of 18, then just divide 20 by 40 and you get 0.5. And that's your estimate. You will receive about half of the maximum amount. Now, all of the numbers that we've been using today were to give you an idea of what you could expect if you were starting these pensions right now. But maybe you're not 65 or 70 right now. Maybe that's still a ways away for you. So what if you're only 60 or 55 or 30? What if these benefits are still way down the road for you? How do you estimate what your numbers are gonna be then? Well, I'm glad you asked. You just head on over to this handy little calculator and yeah, I'll post the link below. And there you have it. Now, I like to change these numbers to monthly because we pretty much talk in terms of monthly all the time. And let's just pretend you're 55. So we'll make this 10 years out. But of course, you can plug whatever number makes sense for you here. And let's just leave the inflation rate as it is for now. Obviously, we're going through a period of significantly higher inflation than this. So you can play with this number and do whatever you want. But obviously, we, we don't know what the future holds. So I'm just going to leave it at this and you can do whatever you like. You can see this top section here is showing us the maximum amounts for CPP and OAS. And you just look over at the last column and there's your projected numbers. And actually down to the next section, you can see the average CPP benefit because obviously not everybody is going to get the maximum amount. Some people haven't lived in Canada as long or uh, maybe haven't contributed as much to the plan. There's a bunch of different reasons, but you can see that this is super easy to use and you can estimate away. Anyway, that wraps up what I wanted to show you today. For those of you who are looking for a more serious deep dive into CPP and OAS, you want all the details, how they work, how secure they are, what the formulas are, et cetera, et cetera, stay tuned. I am working on it. But in the meantime, you can also go check out my friend Adam at Parallel Wealth. Uh, his channel has a ton of very good info on the topic, and he's just an excellent financial planner in general. Until next time, see ya.